Hello, Interpersonal. This is Mr. Burke. Today, I'm going to be going over your new assignment for the rest of this week called Exploring Culture. You're going to make a presentation where you're going to do some research on a different culture other than or a country outside of the USA. Um, and then you're going to create a slideshow where you kind of explain some things about that the country and the culture that's inside that country. So let's take a look at the assignment. And you can see, I'm just going to put myself in this globe, um, what we're asking you to do. So first of all, looking at culture in different countries, remember our definition is culture is a specialized lifestyle of a group of people. So you're going to do some learning around one that's different from the one that which you belong. Um, so you're going to choose a country outside of the USA. Um, and then you're going to do some kind of exploratory research. We're all going to sign up for potentially a different country. Um, we'll get to how to do that in a second. But basically, you're going to do some research for that country. Let me zoom in here so you can see. Do some research for that country. You're going to use anything that at your disposal. Probably all are going to use the internet. Um, but you can also use personal experience. Uh, if you know anybody that, that's from that country, or whatever you need to do, you can use interviews, um, etc. You'll be expected to list keep a list of your sources and to create an MLA citation for each. I'm except, expecting that you know how to do that. I know that you do that in 10th grade. Um, so basically, create a citation for any source that you use um, to reference. Then you're going to create a slideshow um, in Google Slides. So I would just open up the Google Slides app on your iPad. You want to create seven slides total. You can see right here on slide one, you need to have the name of the country and the flag of that country. Slide two, some basic information on that country, like where it is in the world, population, language, things like that. Um, slide three is verbal communication, so you're going to zoom in kind of on the languages that are spoken, because that's a big aspect of the communication that exists there. Nope, slide four, you're going to be talking about the nonverbal communication. Um, the best way to do that would maybe be compare and contrast to America and what the different nonverbal communication styles are like. Things like hand gestures, things like spatial distance, um, eye contact, all that sort of thing you could find doing a little research. Slide five and six are talking about lifestyle in that country, things that influence the culture, things like food, art, music, um, fashion, celebrities, icons, things that are popular in that country. Uh, so you're going to have two slides basically on stuff like that. And then the last slide seven is any MLA citations for sources that you use. Um, so that's all going to go on a Google slideshow. What you need to do is make sure that that slideshow is detailed because you're not going to be presenting this slideshow. It's going to be something that we call asynchronous, which means people are going to look at it without you there to explain it. So it's different than maybe a slideshow that you would create in a presentation. Um, this one you want to have more detailed. You could have uh, lots of pictures and words and stuff, but it should be easy for the eye to see and understand. It also should be detailed enough to where you're, you don't need to stand there and explain the stuff on the slide. So that hopefully makes it a little bit easier um, than giving a presentation. This is totally asynchronous. Once you're done, you're going to upload that slideshow into Schoology on a discussion, and your classmates are going to have a chance to look and see um, the product that you created. Um, so that's total of um, 15 points for share uh, for creating a slideshow. We're not going to share it, um, but I'm going to look through and give you points for creating it. Once you're done, your job is to then look through three different classmates' presentations and record some notes. Um, so you're going to take a look at three different countries and hopefully learn a handful of thing about, things about each one of those countries to kind of grow your cultural competency overall. Um, so from there, what you need to do after you're watching this is there's going to be a, a quick Google form in Schoology for you to sign up for the country that you want. If you happen to choose um, the same one as somebody else, um, we're not going to let more than, let's say, two people choose the same country. Um, so if you choose one that somebody else chooses, I'll just let you know that you need to choose a different one. Um, but aside from that, it should be a fun activity, a way for you to kind of explore a different culture, try maybe choosing... Uh, one that you're totally unfamiliar with or one that you maybe want to visit someday. Um, 
so hopefully it's meaningful to you and your learning. Uh, so have fun doing some research and hope you learned something about another culture.